Hello viewers, welcome to my channel PMCE. We are in class 4 now and in class 4 we deal with both 5 digit and 6 digit numbers. In part 1 of the video, we dealt completely with the place value concepts related to 5 digit numbers. This is part 2 of the video and here we will be dealing with place value concepts of 6 digits numbers. And place value concept is one of the learning outcome under the number concepts in class 4. To know in detail about what are the other learning outcomes with respect to number concepts for class 4, please refer the learning outcome videos provided in my channel. The link for the same will be given below in the description box. Both 5 and 6 digit numbers are called as large numbers. Let us go into the details of the video to see what all we will be seeing in the part 2 of this video. First, we will be seeing place value concepts for 6 digit numbers. Then, we will see how to build 6 digit numbers with number names. Then, we will learn to use an abacus for 6 digit numbers. Next, we will learn to use the usage of periods for reading large numbers. We already saw an introduction to the usage of periods for reading large numbers that is 5 digit numbers in part 1 of the video. Now we will be seeing the usage of the periods to read 6 digit numbers in this video. Next we will be seeing in detail about the phase value and place value concepts for 6 digit numbers. And finally we will learn to write 6 digit numbers in expanded form and short form. So viewers stay with me till the end of this video to learn all these details with respect to 6 digit numbers. Ok, so in class 4 in part 1 we saw about 5 digit numbers. So what was the greatest 5 digit number that we saw? Greatest 5 digit number is 999999. So we have 5 digits over here and this is the greatest 5 digit number. Did you notice a comma in between? This is the concept of periods used to read a 5 digit number. We saw in detail about this in our part 1 of the video which stated that the 1's place, 10's place and 100's place together forms the 1's period and the 1000's and 10,000's place together forms the 1000's period. So how will you read this number now? You will read these two together that is 99,999. That is how the periods concept is used to read large numbers. In 5 digit numbers, it split the 5 digit number into two periods where 1's, 10's and 100's place forms the 1's period, the 1000 and 10,000's place together form the 1000's period. Okay. What will happen if you add a 1 to this number? You will get this as the answer. A 1 followed by 5 zeros. How do you read this? Before that, this is the smallest 6 digit number. Let us count the number of digits. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The greatest 5 digit number plus 1 forms this smallest 6 digit number which is read as 1 lakh. Now let us apply the concept of periods to this 6 digit number. So this is how you will split it. 1's, 10's and 100's together forms the 1's period. 1000's and 10,000's digit together form the 1000's period. And you have a new digit over here which forms the Lacks. Lacks forms a separate period. So we have learned three periods till now where ones, tens and hundreds together form the ones period, thousands and ten thousands together form the thousands period and the new sixth digit which we have seen over here forms the new period called as a lacks period. Okay, so we are learning a new place value 
which is represented by the letter L. So till now, what are the other place values we have seen? Let us put this in the place value chart to understand them. When you put the number 1 lakh in the place value chart, this is how it looks. We have a 1 in the lakhs place, a 0 in the 10,000s place, another 0 in the 1000s place, another 0 in the 100s place, another 0 in the 10s place, and another 0 in the 1s place. So we have seen place values 1s, 10s, 100s, 1000s, 10,000, and the new place value that we are learning here, the 6 digit number is lakh. Let us see how we can represent this 6 digit number in an abacus. For our 6 digit number in an abacus, we need 6 spikes. To begin with, it will be the 1 spike. The second one will be the 10 spike, 100 spike, 1000 spike, 10,000 spike and the new place value, lakh spike. As we have a 1 in the lakhs place, let us begin by putting the number, in the, number 1 in the lakh spike. Followed by a 0 in the 10,000 spike, another 0 in the 1,000 spike, another 0 in the 100 spike, another 0 in the 10 spike and another 0 in the 1 spike. Next, we have to draw the beads corresponding to the number in the respect to place values. So, in lakhs place we have a 1. So, we will be representing that with 1 bead. It is followed by five zeros, so we cannot represent them in the abacus. So this is how you represent a six digit number one lakh in an abacus. Now let us do this with another six digit number to understand it better. So we have the number three, two, four, one, zero, four. Four is in the ones place, zero in the tens place, one in the hundreds place, four in the thousands place, two in the ten thousands place, and 3 in the lakhs place. So let us apply the rule of usage of periods to read this large number. So 1s, 10s and 100 forms the 1s period. You put a comma over there followed by 1000s and 10,000s place forming the 1000s period. So you add another comma over there and this will form the lakhs period. How will you read this number? It will be 3 lakh 24,000 104. This is how you read a large number usage of periods. Now let us represent this six digit number in an abacus. So we have a 3 in the lakhs spike, 2 in the 10,000 spike, 4 in the 1000 spike, 1 in the 100 spike, 0 in the 10 spike and 4 in the 1 spike. Now we will have to add the number of beads corresponding to the digits in each place value. Now we have a 3 lakh. So we need 3 beads. 1, 2, 3. We have 2 ten thousands. So we will add 2 beads over here. This is 1 ten thousand and this is another 10,000. We have 4,000. So we need 4 beads over here. So it will be 1. 1000, 2000, 3000 and 4000 represented by 4 beads. We have 100. So you will have 1 bead in the 100 spike. And in the tens place you do not have any number. So we do not add any representation over there. And in the ones place we have 4 ones represented by 4 beads. So this is how a 6 digit number is represented in an abacus. Let us do this with one more six digit number for better understanding. So applying the usage of periods rule, we have this number 543256 and we are applying the rules of periods by putting a comma after the ones, tens and hundreds place and another comma after the thousand and ten thousands place you will have a comma. So how will you read this number? It will be 5,43,256. Now let us quickly represent this number in an abacus. So begin by putting a 5 in the lakh spike, a 4 in the 10,000 spike, a 3 in the 1,000 spike, a 2 in the 100 spike, 
a 5 in the 10 spy and 6 in the 1 spy. Now let us add the beads corresponding to the place values. To begin with we have 5 lakhs which is represented by 5 beads. We have 4 10 thousand so it is represented by 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 beads and we have 3 thousands represented by 1, 2, 3, 3 beads. And we have 2 hundreds represented by 2 beads. We have 5 tens represented by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 beads and 6 ones represented by 6 beads. 4, 5 and 6. This is how you represent a 6 digit number in an abacus. Now let us move on to the face value and place value concept for a 6 digit number. Consider the 6 digit number given over here. So I have represented the digits over here. And we will have to write the face value and place value for each of these digits. Let us begin with the number 8. We know that the face value of a digit is the same in whichever place it is. So the face value of 8 is 8. 8 is in the lakhs place. So the place value of 8 will be 8 into 1 lakh which is 8 lakh. Next let us move on to the number 2 which is in the 10 thousands place. So the face value will be 2 for the number 2 and the place value will be 2 into 10,000, 20,000. Next for the number 1, the face value will be 1 and the place value will be 1 into 1000 because the number 1 is in the thousands place. Next the digit 4 will have the face value of 4 and the place value will be 4 into 100 because 4 is in the hundreds place. We have the place value to be 400. Next for the digit 7 which is in the tens place the face value will be 7 and the place value will be 7 into 10, 70. Next for the digit 3 the face value will be 3 and the place value will be 3 to 1 because it is in the ones place and the value will be 3. This is how you identify the place value of a 6 digit number depending on the digits position in the respective place values. Now that we know how to apply the usage of periods to read a large number, let us see how we can write this in an expanded form. So you have 8 lakh to 10,000 which is nothing but 20,000 plus 1,000 plus 400 plus 7 tens which makes 70 plus 3 and you get this number 8 lakh 21,473. This is how you write a 6 digit number in the expanded form and this is the short form representation and using the usage of period you arrive at the number name to read a large number and in this case it is 8,21,473. Let us do the face value and place value concept with another 6 digit number for better understanding. So 903248 is the 6 digit number. As we discussed earlier the face value is going to remain the same. 9, 0, 3, 2, 4 and 8. Let us now see the place values for each of these digits in the 6 digit number. The digit 9 is in the lakhs place. So it will have a place value of 9 lakh. The number 0 is in the 10 thousands place and it does not have any value. 0 does not have any place value. Next the number 3 is in the thousands place as a place value of 3000. The digit 2 is in the hundreds place and it has a place value of 200. The digit 4 is in the tens place and has a place value of 40. And the digit 8 is in the ones place which has a place value of 8. With the usage of periods you write the number like this and in the expanded form it will be 9 lakh plus 3000 plus 200 plus 40 plus 8 which will give you the number 9 lakh 3000 248. With that we complete all topics related to place value concept of 6 digit numbers. In part 3 of the video I will be dealing with questions to test the place value concepts understanding for 5 and 6 digit numbers. Links to all relevant videos will be given below in the description box. Now viewers hit the subscribe button and bell button if you like the quality of the video to get regular updates and give your valuable comments in the comment section. See you in part 3 of the video. Thank you.